Are you welcome, please? Ossian. Everybody again. Nice to see you all. I'll try to you all. Thank you for coming here. Uh, we'll start off with our first number because we've found recently a crazy thing to do. It's a wee song called Frozen Butter. And in English folk songs, I've always got phallic symbols and blacksmiths with anvils and things. And in Scotland, they've got frozen butter and subtle like that Scots, you know. And it's all about Jenny been up in the loft and Johnny would fain been at her and things, you know. So, I feel like they've been sending search parties, I thought we're that we're missing and we're in the dressing room. Uh, the, the tune that the, the song set to is a Scottish pipe tune. Uh, although it sounds Irish, it's really Scottish. And uh, we're going to follow up with two Irish, <laughs> which are Irish jigs, called the Monaghan Jig and Jackson Bottle of Brandy. They're canvas slang Irish jigs. Uh, <laughs> Problems with the heart, put it in the bog here. Take it. Very highly strong. <laughs> <laughs>
is up in the lap, and Johnny would then have been after there came a strong wind to the west. Oh, the wind is like clatter, oh, Jenny was up in the lap. Johnny would then have been after there came a strong wind to the west. And oh, the wind is like clatter, oh, Johnny get bruised, bruised. Johnny get bruised and butter, oh, Johnny get bruised, bruised. And oh, the lay wanted the supper, oh, Johnny get bruised, bruised. Johnny get bruised and butter, oh, Johnny get bruised, bruised. And oh, the lay wanted the supper. Oh, and the gooses get meat, a hen is a boss and a bother, and pie the smack of this seat. There's nothing like bruised and butter. Oh, and the gooses get meat, a hen is a boss and a bother, pie the smack of this seat. There's nothing like bruised and butter, oh, Johnny get bruised. Bruise, bruise. Johnny get bruised and butter. Johnny get bruised, bruised and other they wanted the supper. Johnny get bruised, bruised. Johnny get bruised and butter. Oh, Johnny get bruised, bruised. Other they wanted the supper. Oh. Sitting in the stern of a boat. It's called uh, Sitting in the Stern of a Boat. It was written by a Reverend MacLeod of Sky, who was actually born on Sky, you see, and he was a sort of minister on Sky for most of his life. And one day he gets a wee letter through the post telling him that he's got to go to the mainland for a, for a few years, you know. As it turns out, he dies in the mainland, he doesn't see the place again. But he, he's sitting in the boat uh, from Sky, you know. And he's just sort of you know, these paddles are going up, and he's watching all his familiar landmarks disappear from his sight one by one, you know. And he's very upset about it all. So he writes this wee tune, gets his cassette out, you know, and he, he hums a wee tune into it. And uh, that's what it's called, sitting instead of a boat. It's got a garlic name as well, I can't really say it. It's something like single fish and batter, you know. It's got my batter anyway. And uh, so the next time you're in Huddersfield Lock, I want you to think about this one.
going to play a couple of tunes now, uh, a couple of Scottish tunes. The first one's called the 72nd Highlanders Farewell to Aberdeen, and the sit. <laughs> and then it's a pint march, and the second one is a bumpkin, which is a sort of old sort of type of dance. But you thought it was a village idea or something like that. It, it's called the favourite drum. So two stately sounding tunes. Very much. I'd like to do a, a song that was written by Robert Burns, a man is a success in every field he went into. And this is a this is a song that he wrote to an old harp tune, which we thought was called Rory Dahl's Port, until this a Burns fanatic came up one night and said, no, it's not Rory Dahl's Port. He says it's something else, but he didn't know what it was. Wasn't it? And Rory Dahl didn't drink port either. So. 
It's, uh, it's called A Fond Kiss and I'd like to dedicate it to Sabina and Barbara oh. and Annie and everyone. Oh. There we are. Sorry about the tuning, but uh, we're coming out of the van all day with instruments. We're playing in the on this afternoon.
Thank you, folks. Sorry, right. thank you. Uh, we're going to leave you in the very culpable hands of Big John here on my right. He's going to play whatever comes into his head. And it would be very nice if uh, somebody would come up to him so, you know, near the end of the night and say, oh man, you fiddle things, if you just paid 30 quid to get it fixed. Because he has, you see, and... Uh, oh, we all noticed it straight away, you know. What a difference. <laughs> ah, so, you know what I mean. Touchy, touchy. Eh... Three Scots can I better watch what I'm saying. I played these this afternoon and I made a right in the essay one. I think I like this one here. I think it's a good one. All these things are like I'm thinking. It's fine. It's fine. A match is transparent in a reel. The field of banner burn, the miller of turn, and the bride's reel. Mine worker from Camden Lang. Now it's up to you if your boat counts. <laughs> well, I'm not talking about clapometers, so you don't know why it might happen. <laughs> uh, aye, we're going to finish up this spot now. Not as so much a spot, it's more of a pimple really, but we'll be back later on to play more little tunes. We don't do many chorus songs, there are folk to join in, but this is one. It's called Boomer Rover and I. And we're going to dedicate it to Marty Feldman. And, uh, it's got a pretty good chorus in it. We've done a bit called the Dara Berry and things like that. So we'll see you later on after the first.
As I get our young hill and tell, I met a bonny lassie And she gave me a wink with a tail her ee, and big, but she was saucy Where are you gang, my bonny lass? Where are you gang, my honey? Where are you gang, my bonny lass? For back keep for my granny We my robe and I, fall a diddle die We my robe and fall to dairy We my robe and I Oh, but is your name, my bonny lass? But is your name, my honey? But is your name, my bonny lass? So they cry me bonny Annie. And how old are you, my bonny lass? How old are you, my honey? How old are you, my bonny lass? I'll be sixteen come Sunday. We my robe and I, fall a diddle die. We my robe and fall a dairy. We my robe and I. And where do you sleep, my bonny lass? Where do you sleep, my honey? Where do you sleep, my bonny lass? In a wee bed next my mammy. Can I were to come to you, Ruslan, when the moon is shining clearly? Would you arise and let me in so your mother wouldn't hear me? We my robe and I, fall a diddle die. We my robe and fall a dairy. We my robe and I. Into the lass's door, I found that she was waking. But lang, lang, or the morning come, her mother heard us talking. She ran to the great to pick up the costly seagin she could can me. But I kicked the old wife into the fire and bid my heels defend me. We my robe and I, fall a diddle die. We my robe and fall a dairy. We my robe and I. Oh, it's soldier, soldier, marry me new, I'd see them new or never. But oh, soldier, soldier, marry me new, for I am done forever. Come o'er the bar, my bonny lass, blink o'er the bar, my honey. For you are a sweet and a kindly lass, for all oh, your kind but mammy. We my robe and I, fall a diddle die, we my robe and fall the dairy, we my robe and I. Show you woman, I don't need to wear the woman hanging out. He knows as well. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> so this is for the future. It's one. Family show. Alright, here goes. Put it like a pipe, the winter. You won't be caught out this winter, will you? <laughs>
but are the walking I would wed. For love has bound me hand and foot, and I would fain be endured. Oh, let me end the same, the same. Blinks through the driving sleet. Oh, take pity on my weary feet and shield me from the rain. Oh, let me in the sinning, the sinning, for pity's sake, the sinning. Oh, rise and let me in. Blast that round me blows Unheeded bones, unheeded moors Oh, the coldness of thy herbs, the cause Oh, oh my grief and pain, John Oh, let me end the sinning, the sinning For pity's sake, the sinning I used to have at school, you know, she kept retiring and she kept getting crazy, it's very annoying, you know, 
it's kept on black from there. But anyway, yeah, but she'll lend me my table, you know. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, she does, I'll say that for her. She's up the road, you know. She's still bad talk. Eh, uh, doesn't make a lot anymore. Anyway, what's wrong with it? Right. You know, it's like a flat heel, and the hair up, and the seats are up, my knuckles are everywhere, and things like that. Eh, <laughs> uh, right, I can't let know this tune shortly before he died. And, eh, uh, he'd have teach a lot as well. And, eh, uh, he was blind, you see, and a lot of the harpers were blind. Most of them were blind. And I used to think that playing the harp made to go blind, you know? I was always watching Kung Fu for a harp, you know, and the, the sort of honesty with that guy going about with a ping pong ball in your eyes, you know? <laughs> but, eh, uh, that's not a true story. If uh, a child was born into a sort of well-to-do family and they would have sort of you know, found to be blind or if they smallpox or something like that and it brought on blindness, they were encouraged to learn to play an instrument to earn their feet, you see, and beat the heart for the fiddle or the pipe because there's no social security in those days and they'd do something. <laughs> used to give out all the big sort of rich pussies, you know, and the right of tune for the, for the, the boss, you know, and you'd smear lots of money and food and things like that. Yeah, not a bad life, but, uh, that's all gone. If you want all the, the big stately homes in Ireland anyway went sort of bankrupt and things like that, and so there's no means in the seat. That's why most of the harbour died it. Uh, we're doing too well now, do you think? Never mind. So, that's it, June. No, that's it. I'm not mistaken. I'll tell you what I'll say though, it. Take one.
Thanks very much. Well, I'd like to do a, a Gaelic song now that was written by a fella, Alan McPhee. Yeah? It's written by a guy, Alan McPhee, from Loch Carlin in South Uist. And he, it's a song that he wrote about the clearances, actually. And it's, he, he wrote it from Manitoba, which is a reflection of the clearances themselves, I suppose. And it's a kind of bitter kind of song about he, how the, the factors were coming up and telling them what a great place Manitoba was in the Red, the Red River and places, you know, like this. And he, when they get out there, it was really bad, you know, and it wasn't really any better than the place they'd left. And the song's written he, about this, and he, it tells about if, you know, if he'd basically, the thing is that if he'd as much money in his pocket and a pair of shoes in his feet, he'd be back in Europe. Well, it's still very moving stuff, you know, so... So it's called Little Royal. That's it, uh, that's it, uh, that's it, uh, that's it. It's pretty good. And it's followed by a, a, an ear called Ocean's Lament, funnily enough. Funny enough. Oh, well, that's, you know... That's probably the saddest tune in the world, so I don't... I've just had a great note on it, but... I've made it sad, especially. And we should have echo in this. By the way, the echo unit blew up. <laughs> the echo unit blew up and I think we did And we're singing for about 10 minutes. I'm sorry for that. It's me, the echo unit going there. I know it is. And it was, we were singing for about 10 minutes. No picky tear in. We were singing, you know. It's definitely yeah. stupid. So, anyway, that is it. I thought it was my first like Alex Holmes. It's called Oh Mogui, which is uh, Oh My Country. Right. Let's uh, take it away back, yeah. Joy. <laughs>
We're going to do a song that's uh, a bit more lively. Yeah, go on. Join the peace. It's called Get Up Bar the Door. Uh, it's, it's a nonsense song about a nagging wife. Get this one to poor McDonald. Uh, I believe that's how she broke her arm by barring the door. On uh, one occasion when she was hiding Bonnie Prince Charlie uh, in this room, that somebody shot them, you see, and the soldiers were coming running up the road. And she ran up to put the beam across the door and it wasn't there, so she stuck her arm across the door. And while the chick was getting out the window, the soldiers battered in the door and broke her arm. I may just have made that up there, but I'm not going to say like. <laughs> <laughs> 
foot in the mud was time and a good time it was in No, when our good wife had put in steam back and she boiled them in the pan Oh, oh the wind blew cold three north and south that blew and tay the floor Oh, quoth our good man to our good wife I get up and bar the door oh, My hand is set and my hush is keep good man as she may see Oh, she do be bar the sun or ye that will no be bar for me Oh, Oh, they made a pact between them two, they made it firm and sure. Oh, whoever spoke the phone was what you get up and bar the door. Oh, then by the cup to a gentleman at twelve o'clock at night. Oh, they could see neither push nor horn nor coal nor candlelight. Oh, well, first they ate the pudding's white, oh, then they ate the black. Oh, what the fuck to get wiped yourself, or never a word she spied. Oh, no, whether this be a rich man's use, or whether it's a poor, oh, there are what would they need them speak for the bar in all the door. The other said, Your man, take ye my knife, folk, and you'd cut up the old man's beard, no, I'll kiss a good wife, oh, but there's no water in the house, so what will we do then, no, oh, until she had the pudding brew that boils into the pan, oh. Then up and started her, get man, oh, an angry man was he, oh, you kiss my wife before my in and score me with pudding free, oh. Then up and started her, get wife, I get three skips on the floor, oh, good man, you spoke in the form as what I get up and bar the door, oh. I'll take to play a tune at the end of the day, go off to university and all sorts of things. I'm not going to buy the way I took stuff. I'm reaching for a bit in the bar. I'm reaching for a bit in the bar. I'm playing the tide of the circle to bring a rope at the end of the bar. This is a tune that I got from the same book that we got um, <laughs> uh, sitting in the stern of a boat. My class son was sitting in the stern of a boat. Uh, it's called um, ro Rolling from Isla to Youth. It's supposed to be in the time of the rolling, you know. It's, I think it's like a cause of penis and things like that. It's like a rolling from Isla to Youth. <laughs> what the text in the post, by the way? <laughs> But Louis is this thing? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
Well, we'd like to do a song. It was a, a traditional farewell and good night song. In Gaelic, and it's sorry you to say he valley, but she should really sing at the end of the night. But we'll do it second last because if you leave with a dead quiet number, then we'll be. Everybody falls asleep. Right. <laughs> we did this in, in Irvin. Oh, very often. <laughs> <laughs> we did this in Irvin one night, and the guy, the manager of the hotel, was from Staffing and Sky, and he came up at the end of the night and had his breath through it. He said, "You should do that at the end of the night." Yeah? Well, if I say anybody that's going to have his breath through it tonight, we know we should do it at the end of the night. Yeah? But much about the cost on us as well. It's a big four-foot lead electric table hang there. You have a guy that's beating down blind when you play on top, I don't like Tuning called Tuning, because we were a tuning, you see. I think everybody else was a Chinese accent, I never saw them. Sorry, you know, the whole thing is a bonanza.
Thank you very much, folks. Well, I'm afraid we'll have to love you and leave you. Uh, I like to thank you all very much for being a dandy audience, and I'm sure we'll see you again. In fact, we will, because we'll come back again in January the 2nd, and we'll have sort of eat ice cubes and pickles and stuff like that. That's not too bad. Thank God, we'll get any drums. I'll leave you with a thought. If you drink and drive, don't breathe. <laughs> We're going to finish up with these Shetland reels. Which are extremely funny names, and that's John's department, department of funny names. Uh, John Martin, you know. And uh, you can join in these ones, but don't sing because there's no words in Jackson Reels, you know, you make a fool of yourself. So. There you go. <laughs> Who commits one to them? Whatever comes to mind, it's not sing. John the likely lad. I don't know. Thank you, boy. Spruce is the Willow Kishi and Siemens Wart. Right. That's just the first one. That's 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 the first one. All right, thanks very much again.
Grazie per la morte. Yeah. <laughs> 